So we humans have this extraordinary skill of having the ability to zone people out. So, uh, what headphones are those? These are the Sennheiser Momentum In-Ear Wireless. Cool. Review? Review. Check this out, the Fantex P400S, which is one of the best mid towers on the market, got a sexy upgrade, now with a tempered glass side panel with a comfortable rubberized mount to show off your gorgeous system with an RGB LED strip included. Get your glass on with the Fantex P400S, plant not included. So wireless headphones sure are convenient, but you also have to pay for that convenience because pretty much any wireless quality pair is quite expensive, including this, the Sennheiser Momentum uh, on-ear wireless goes to $500, yikes. So let's see if the Momentum in-ear wireless lives up to the Momentum reputation and don't judge me, but uh, also let me know if you agree, but don't these look ridiculous when they're on you? One walk around is to wrap the cable on the inside so that it doesn't spin out as much. See, looks much better. So interestingly, this pair sort of fills that gap of being a wireless uh, in-ear quality headphone without it being sort of focused on the athletic aspect of being waterproof and you use it to exercise. But this is more of an elegant approach towards that lifestyle of wireless audio. But I still think it looks ridiculous unless you route the cable from the inside like I said earlier. Now, I really do appreciate this entire approach with this very comfortable, very lightweight uh, leather body uh, that goes around your neck. So you don't really feel it. It's got very smooth leather and uh, there's absolutely no friction against your skin. And uh, it goes very well with t-shirts. As you can see, there is nothing overlapping it and just sits on, on my neck uh, just fine. However, if you go with a shirt, as you can see, it looks a little bit more intrusive and has to wrap around your collar. And I guess depending on the collar size, you might potentially be able to tuck it underneath it it, but yes, wear accordingly based on your t-shirts, shirts, suits and stuff. I do appreciate the very flexible yet confident neck band. It feels like it might take some abuse if you're not carrying it inside the pouch, which by the way is included. It's nice. Uh, it's a little bit on the larger side. However, it is a very thin profile and it definitely feels like you're presenting jewelry to someone. And I'm pretty sure that was the whole intent, despite it being uh, you know, somewhat functional and having a very nice, comfortable area at the back so you can hold it while you present it to someone. Jewelry, anyone? Yeah. And as part of accessories, a micro USB cable is included, along with three extra silicone ear tips so you can find your own size. I do appreciate the overall design aesthetic of red stitching, the leather, the almost velvety plastics with just uh, Sennheiser text on one side, Sennheiser logo on the other. They are chrome and they reflect at certain angles, but they're not in any way flashy. And I do appreciate the non-tangle black and red cable, but my favorite part has to be the chrome plated uh, ear tips. They look absolutely fantastic. Again, showing you a bit of premium, but without going in the overly flashy route. Now, this is one of the only few pairs of in-ear wireless headphones that you don't have to worry about losing because they stay on your neck snug. They're not going anywhere. But I wonder, and maybe you are too, as to why this pair has to be sort of this large. Why couldn't they make it smaller? Maybe it's because they couldn't make the, the main plastic pieces any smaller for the, the Bluetooth module, the controller module. You know, there's an NFC point here, the vibration motor. There's a lot of tech built into it but um, it's just would be great if they were a little bit more discreet, especially with the neck band. You know, it's comfortable this way, but it would be great if it was a slightly bit slimmer. Uh, and maybe these plastic pieces slightly reduced in size because, you know, we have the AirPods and they're this small and there are other, you know, wireless in-ear headphones that are much smaller and more compact. This is okay size-wise, but uh, it's not exactly competitive. I would not recommend exercising with them, uh, not because they're heavy or anything, they're super lightweight, and you don't really feel them, but you know, if you're doing something more intensive, it does move around the base because it's uh, very lightweight. Now, one really awesome thing about the Momentum in the wireless is a built-in vibration motor. I don't think it's on the entire neck band, I think it's just built in into the left side, and it vibrates when you're receiving phone calls, it vibrates when your battery is low, so not only do you get audio cues saying your battery is low, but you also get that little triple vibration feedback knowing when to charge it and that's pretty awesome because if the headphones are like this on my body i'm not exactly listening to them and i was to receive a phone call i would get that vibration indication without having to hear it you know if i'm on like silent mode or something so that's a pretty awesome feature that you will not find on any other wireless in-ear headphone now 
it comes to the controls, everything is on the left side, which is easily reachable with your left or right hand. So we have a power button, we have an LED indication for Bluetooth connectivity, there's a microphone, plus uh, and minus buttons along with that central button. So interestingly, uh, the plus and minus are a little bit swapped because you know, when I'm reaching in to, let's say, adjust the volume, I'm assuming that I'll be turning up the volume, but that plus button is all the way at the back. So intuitively, I would think that they would place the plus button at the front because it's the easiest one to reach. And it's also you use them to switch tracks. So if you want to switch track forward, you would have to reach all the way back and press that button for two seconds instead of pressing the minus button, which is at the very front, which is what I would initially want to reach for if I want to switch tracks forward. It's a little bit unintuitive, but once you know where the buttons are located, uh, it's fine. These are Bluetooth 4.1 with support for Aptex, Kodak, AAC, and SBC, and has an NFC chip on the right side of the neck band. So you simply touch your phone uh, and connect it. Bam. No longer do you have to go into the Bluetooth settings, select your device and stuff. Everything is automatic, almost just as simple as simply opening a box. So now let's talk about my experience with the audio. And the first thing I want to mention is the volume range is excellent. So there's a lot of power in here. Uh, I would was never able to listen to even at like 90% volume. I always had to go below and there's very nice volume intervals. So you can dial in your preferred volume, no problem. As for the sound signature itself, it follows in the footsteps of the wired momentum in-ears. So it's a very bright extension, a lot of emphasis on the treble, a lot of detail in the sound signature and uh, the bass is so good, but it's only so good if you get the right ear tips and really kind of put these uh, into your ears very snug. Otherwise, if uh, the silicone pads are a little bit too large and they don't create that seal, uh, you don't get isolation and everything just sounds flat. So make sure uh, that, uh, you know, you can fine tune the, the silicone ear tips because the silicone ear tips here, they really make the sound signature uh, because when they're not completely snug, it just doesn't sound right. Now I do prefer this brighter sound extension, uh, but in some instances I actually had to turn the volume down because the treble on the high end became way too harsh. And this is listening music through Spotify, through extreme quality with music downloaded on my smartphone. Now when compared to the RHA T10i's that cost just as much as the Sennheiser's, the RHA's delivered more muddier bass, it wasn't as pronounced, and the detail just wasn't there. So it's a very smooth roll off on the higher end, but uh, the detail that uh, these Sennheisers pick up is just astounding. So if you prefer that, uh, that brighter sound signature, then definitely check these out. And the last thing I want to mention is the Sennheiser Captune app. Uh, it's a great idea because within it you can change the EQ settings and uh, just basically play around with different uh, you know profiles for different Sennheiser headphones. However, the equalizer or the custom equalizer settings are not global, so they don't translate over to your streaming music or YouTube playback. Uh, this is only for your local media being played back through Captune. So it's a little bit pointless because you can do the same thing on Power Amp, which is a much more powerful music player. And the last thing I want to mention is there's no way to know the battery life on Android uh, unless you let's say turn on the, the headphone and you hear the low battery notification. However, on iOS through Captune, you have the battery status bar, which is excellent. I don't know why that's not available on Android. And as for the battery life itself, I got the low battery notification and the vibration about after five days of casual listening. So that's while cooking, while shooting something, while going to the park. And I would use these as I would with a wired pair of headphones you know, of how much I would be listening to with podcasts and music and etc. So in that sense, it's pretty good. And especially with it being recharged in just an hour and a half, uh, it's pretty great. And so it's clear that the wireless direction for headphones is the way forward. I mean, you know, Apple already dished the uh, headphone jack. Let's see who's gonna be next. And it's great to see the Momentum wireless line growing because these are actually pretty decent with a pleasing sound signature. If you're into the brighter extension with a lot of detail, they have a good battery life, a nice hidden controls, NFC pairing, and they look pretty awesome too. There are some quirks though, like uh, having to reroute the cable every time you put them on so they don't look ridiculous. Uh, there's no battery life indicator uh, for Android and the plus and minus buttons are swapped, which is a little bit inconvenient. Oh, hey there. NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by the weekly deals. Visit NCX.com for all them sweet deals.
It is double the price over the Momentum in years, but the premium is of course expected when we go wireless. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. The middle button also has that little nipple.